Hi guys, today we're going to be trying the Nia Jelly Gouache Paint Set. And this is the 56 different color set. And each of them come in 30 milliliter little cups. And the top has this really cool foamy piece that doesn't come out. And I'm guessing it's supposed to help retain the wetness when you pull off all the seals. So we got a really, really nice range of colors. We have a lot of reds, a lot of pinks, a lot of yellows, a lot of greens, a lot of blues, purples, and we got a little art on the back of this card. But the only thing they kind of skimped on was the browns and the grays, which I think should have had a little bit more of a variety. But other than that, we got a huge variety of the rest of the colors. So let's pull out one of the little paints. This is a, one of the reds, and they have really sturdy bottoms but the top seal is a bit flimsy and i'm pretty sure you're supposed to throw those away and so they have each of their little cubbies here as you can see and they just slide into each other which makes them um, super cool too another way and you can just basically peel off the top but just as i feared dun 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 the paint sticks to the little seal on the top so you'll probably want to scrape that off to make sure you got most of the paint and it's not going to waste. So I'm just going to open this pink one. And there's a lot of paint sticking to the cap too, so you'll probably have to do that for all 56 of them, which is not really that great. And I'll meet you back after I do all of them. So I've done, I've peeled all of the different paints and there's a lot 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 of trash left from it and i just want to talk to you about some of the weird colors this um yellow wish color that i'm pointing to is called the yellow teeth and then we have prim rose yellow which has no e and then we also have a color called arts green didn't know green had art had its own green and then we have like a salmon pink color which is really an orange i think one of the reddish colors could have substituted that one of the whites and some of the other colors have this weird gel thing which probably makes it more have that jelly texture so you probably just have to mix that in when you use them and some of them are more filled to the top than others which kind of bugs me but also um other than that, it's pretty good. We have one black, one brown, one gray. We ha It looks like we have two, but that's really Prussian blue, which is really, really dark blue and bluish purple. And we have a cool maroon, and I really like the colors in the bottom right corner. So, I've set everything up, and I've got the Princeton Art and Brush Co. brushes. There's four of them from this month's Powerful Packs box for the month of October. Some Halloween art going. And if you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description. So if you use it straight out of the cup, it's very, very, very thick. But once you water it down a bit, it's like watercolor. And I thought for the piece of art we make today with this art supply, I thought we'd go um with an ollie piece of art kind of small so i'm just taking the yellow teeth paint i'm kind of drawing ollie's body i thought for this piece of art with paint i thought i'd challenge myself to not sketching it out just going straight in not necessarily using any line art except maybe a line art pen for his face and I'm just going to try and use darker colors to make it look um, like he's not just one big box. And I'm just going to kind of shade in and kind of see where this is going to take us. Because I don't usually paint or really draw or color anything without sketching it out first. Kind of just playing around with this using the darker colors it looks pretty good 
but also it looks a little bit weird like you can't tell where his back leg is i've added a bit of snout and darker ears because all he really actually does have those i'm adding some more of the lighter yellow teeth color on top kind of just seeing what makes this painting look like ollie is it darker paws is it lighter paws is it doing something random i'm i'm adding a little bit of white between his legs just to make it look like there's actually separation between them I'm kind of using my thumb to kind of make it not too sharp because that can happen a lot and i'm just adding white gear adding yellow teeth color there kind of just seeing what will look good added more of a darker snout to find his tail more really working on the back leg and his front two feet because i really want to get those looking like they actually are feet and not just some part of his body. And I told you I was only going to use a fine art liner pen for his face. And I'm sticking to that. I'm not going to outline anything. Just using this pen to draw in his facial features. Because it's probably easier than using paint. And since his muzzle was still wet. When I added the pen on top. It kind of turned into a brown which is probably better because all his nose is kind of browned, like a really dark brown. And, I th and I'm kind of happy with what it, um, his paws look like now. So I've just added a little bow tie, which is actually like his real collar, which is a blue collar with polka dots that has a bow tie built into it. We're just mixing in some blue, and I thought it was a bit boring. So I've added some of his toys. This blue bone toy is a toy he actually has. It's a plush toy. And for the second toy, I'm kind of just making a rope toy. He has a rope toy, but it's blue. So I kind of wanted to vary it a little bit and use a different color. This yellow is extremely light. I thought I want to add some of darker stripes to it like real rope toys have but it doesn't really pop because the thing is still wet so i think maybe a darker yellow will help that right now it doesn't really look like what i really want so i'm just adding some more stripes this time orange stripes And I'm adding some red stripes. And actually, I'm just going to make the whole thing red. I think this looks better. Because it's kind of giving some patriotic vibes. But at the same time, it's not really red. It's more like reddish orange. Oops, I was about to cheat there, wasn't I? And I'm just going to cut a little border around it. And I'm not giving too much of a border, but I'm giving enough of a border that I'm not cutting through the paint. But I'm not leaving too much of a border because I really want it to pop, not have that much white around it, really. And I'm just carefully maneuvering my scissors, trying to get around his head found his ears, trying very hard to not chop them off because it's a very, very tiny piece of art. And I'm just going around the bone part and then going around the thing and that's it. Might have to do a bit of a touch up because he got a little bit of blue on his face. Just going to spread it out with a watered rebrush. Then I'm just going to fix it with some paint. I'm using the base color we use, 
well, the similar color that was to our base color, and then just taking um, a little tiny bit of tan and spreading that around the whole face to make it even. Now, I've got sticker my stuff, because, yeah, we're going to make a sticker, and I really like this. It's just shelf liner. It's clear shelf liner, and it has measurements on it, and you need to make sure which side you put it on. It happens to me a lot. you got to make sure it's the side that has no writing on it because the side that has writing on it is really the backing paper because if you put it on the side with the backing paper, the side you peel off would be sticky, and not only that, your background, the stick, background of your sticker would be numbers. And you're just going to cover it with a layer of packaging tape. I kind of like to leave a little bit hanging off the sides because then it's a little bit easier because it sticks to the, um, th sticks to the table. And you kind of want to get rid of all of your air bubbles. I'm just going to trim across the sides. Just reposition my scissors. And the good thing about having a grid in the back is if you're really, really careful about where you put it, then you can use the grid as basically where to cut. I didn't follow the grid for the size because there was still only one square left, but it looked a bit too big. Here's the final piece of art. I really, really like the Mia Jelly Gouache paint set because it's so fun to paint with this puddingy jelly-like consistency. And also, as a plus side, because you can water it down like a watercolor, then it also becomes basically, it extends your watercolor paint set. And also, it can if you get one of the smaller sets, it can be like your paint on the go set. And you can have a gouache and a watercolor set in one, which is super duper cool. I give this product five stars. The only thing I didn't like was the weird color names.